What's going on, Shady People? Shady Penguin here. Welcome back to the next episode of our Duels to the Roses playthrough. I know it's been quite some time, uh, but I am back on track. I am good to go. Um, I'm hyped because we're going to just directly jump into trying to face our next opponent, which is the Labyrinth Ruler. What brings you to this lost northernmost region? Lost? If you want some directions, you'll have to beat me first. So, Labyrinth Ruler... Uh, I feel like with our current deck of zombie pumpkin shenanigans, we should be able to take him on pretty easy. Oh, I may have spoken way too soon. There's so many different spaces happening here. What is Crush gonna do? No! I just clicked start stuff. I can. I just wanted to see get information on, on the space, if I'm honest with you. Um, that's unfortunate. Oh, baby. Wow, we could have been so set. Well, actually, wouldn't we, we wouldn't have been able to play it last turn. I don't think I'm that upset anymore. Okay, so Crush is probably going to, like, destroy whatever type of card we put there, I'm sure. Oh, this is going to be sucky, though. Because... We have our pumpkin that we're going to want to sit there for sure. Um, and we got to work our way around him somehow. Okay, power increase right away. Boom shakalaka. My name is Mr. Waka. Do I, have, I do have a zombie in hand. Okay, so I have one zombie in hand. I can start like trying to do the most. But I kind of want to filter my hand out as soon as possible. So I think I'm just going to take. Let's do it this way. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna get all of these gone. I just wanna, oh, it's actually gonna fuse. Okay, Cybersaurus. And they're gonna fuse into something that's not a zombie. Oh, you are a zombie, spicy dude. Okay, so he'll start getting buffed as well. We got four cards out of our hand, I believe, which is nice, nice as ice. Uh, and a zombie on the board. So if we draw into a plant, oh no. Oh, okay. He just moved his monster back a bunch. That's fine with me. Power increase. We're going to step over this way, and then we're going to see what we have. We have a violet crystal, which is nice. We have a dragon and a zombie, so we can make another zombie. We can go zombie dragon and make ourselves a crawling dragon. Uh, we're going to flip him face up for sure. Actually, we don't have to. I'm pretty sure they still get buffed. Even if they're even if they're not flip face up, uh, I gotta get two monsters between me for sure. He just got decimated. Whatever he tried to do is a failure, absolute failure. Uh, he cleared that, or he went over that labyrinth, which is kind of scary that he's able to do that. Definitely intimidating. Um, I would say let's move you here. You get buffed, which is awesome. Let's move over. First, let's see our hand. Okay, we have a plan. So, I can move you over. Does it have to be plant zombie? I feel like it has to be plant zombie. Like, I don't know if zombie plant is gonna work. I've never tested this before. I guess we might as well test it now. Okay, it does work. It doesn't matter the exact order. I can put you in defense mode as well. Uh, and then we're going to wrap it up there. We're going to end our turn. But with two zombies out. Unless you get some crazy shenanigans going with two pumpkins out, I think we're going to be pretty set. Final flame. How much damage is this going to do? Damage. 200 damage. Scary. Scary. That beautiful power increase. Times two. Times two. Uh, we have another dragon. Okay. So let's power up our armored zombie by 500, because why not? Then I would say let's move him. So Crush doesn't do anything really for me right now. I can move you over here, and we'll end our turn there. 
honestly think that armored zombies can be able to do the most. I would like to get one more zombie out and start buffing them though. Because if a spell or a trap happens and gets rid of my armored zombie, I'm gonna be a sad panda. I will be the ultimate sad panda. But now we should be 3,100, which is really nice. Uh, we do have another zombie. We could make a zombie dragon again. Uh, we could just throw out this Bistro Butcher, which is actually pretty strong on this space. I think I'm going to wait to see him move towards me right now. We're going to do a little bit of that. Wow, he's confident. He's really moving towards me. Oh, but he doesn't move forward with that one, which is a good sign for me. Yeah, I think we're going to I think we're going to be pretty good. So now I'm just going to play Call of the Haunted, I think. Uh, another zombie. I don't know if they need to be face up, but I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and turn face up anyway. Oh my gosh, I double clicked. That sucks. All right, he's 3,300. Let's just wait again. Might as well get him as strong as possible. I don't think this guy would have played anything that's like strong enough to scare me off. But this face down right here could be some sort of spell or trap. So I do have to play pretty cautiously. And especially, yeah, especially if you put in defense mode, it's something scary. It's something that can destroy my guy for sure. Uh, I could attack into it. Uh, I think I'm just going to turn the Beast or Butcher into a zombie for now. Let's just do that. We have we can get one more monster out, technically. We could fish for another plant by zombie dragoning. I think I will. Yeah. Let's do it. So now if we draw a plant, uh, we'll have to buff it, obviously. And I think I am going to swing in for that attack. Let's see what it is. Virus infection. Is that just this? Is that just what this is? I think that's just what that does. Anytime we attack on this, it's just going to destroy our monster. Is that what you're telling me? So we can ne we can never we can never get past that point is what you're saying. He's able to just block us off completely forever on that side. Cool, man. That's cool. That makes a whole lot of sense. Did I really just double X? No, okay, I did, but it's okay. Uh, we got Fiends. We have Aqua Little Baby Boy. Uh, Aqua Boy could work. We'd have to move him pretty far along, though. I think it's just end our turn again for now. Let's see what he does if he moves past this crushed virus space he doesn't he just sits there unreal unreal man all right so i have to do what i didn't want to do i have to start moving my pumpkin all the way on the other side but i wonder if just by landing on that crushed virus space is is that what did it it's just because i landed here because if that's the case can i even ever get past that Okay, I think we're going to have to do a little bit of this. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of like almost, all, let's get rid of all our useless cards. Just got a 2600 air eater here. That's fine. Um, I'm tempted to start moving my pumpkin over, but I think we'll just have to go the long route. Oh my gosh! 2,900? Well, that's most likely going to be a GG. That is most likely going to be a GG. Because he's allowed to move through labyrinths all he wants. Um,
I don't see a way out of this. Unless we draw, like... We can make another Pumpkin King, but I don't know how much that's going to matter right now. Because we're going to be cornered the entire time. Unless we draw something to buff this guy, it's going to be really hard. I'm going to have to start moving around, I think. Yeah. I'm going to start moving around. And our turn. See what this Labyrinth tank does. Probably just completely decimates us now. We got too feisty. Oh! You know, I'm not that upset. It sucks that we just lost the pumpkin, but... Realistically, our other pumpkin's gonna be able to destroy that now. So we did sacrifice a pretty... a pretty... it was a pretty hefty price. Oh, and he has a zombie too. That's what I just saw. Let's attack this labyrinth tank. We have to, obviously. Deal 900 damage to his life points. That's great. Uh, dark on dark action. This air eater, which is kind of buffed. I want to see what happens when I... If I does my creature just die when I land on crush? I have to see. It does. As soon as it lands on Crush, it dies. Wow. Okay. Um, for now, let's just place this Fiend's Hand down here. And, uh... Let's get these pumpkins cooking. We are buffing that zombie that's face down, so we're gonna have to use one of our pumpkins to steamroll everything. We're never going to be able to. Oh yeah. If our pumpkin moves on this, he just dies. We can't do that. So we have to actually, now that I'm looking at it, we need to get a strong creature right here. We need a zombie preferably. Okay, that's perfect. Now let's really hope and really pray that this is not another la It has to be a labyrinth tank. What am I saying? It has to be a labyrinth tank. It's going to be a labyrinth tank. For sure. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. That one is, though. That one is. Oh my gosh, all these tanks. I'm so rude. All right, we're gonna buff some things. His zombie is gone, which is good. I think I have another pumpkin in the deck, honestly. Uh, let's get a lot of crap out of our hands. I wouldn't have minded putting Aqua somewhere. Okay, do I think that 2300 is enough to beat his guy? I really don't. I mean, he's going to attack me no matter what, right? So I might as well do it myself. Yeah, I might as well. Oh, wall shadow. That's a cool creature. I like wall shadow. Uh, he's dead as sin, though, to my zombie, which I was not expecting. I think those were his wings. I think that noise were his wings. Spice. Okay. Now we can... I kind of want to test and see if this dies to crush. It doesn't because it's weak. Aha. Very nice. That's all you need to do, boys. Uh, let's burn a couple of these. Burn zombies. Burn warrior. Burn all those. Okay, this doesn't matter. We're probably going to move on top of it soon anyway. Uh, yeah, let's keep our pumpkins where they are. And let's end our turn. So our, our, our crawling dragon... Our, dra our dragon's going to be able to move two spaces right now, which is great. 
We have to do like a whole giant zigzag to get to this guy. Let's see if as soon as he gets to 1500 if he, if he dies. I'm really curious. A fiend's hand is only 1000 right now. Okay, cool. So I can wait. Let's put this in defense mode. I can technically move twice, which I will. Let's back my leader up again. Okay, this is gonna buff a fiend, which... You are a fiend. Let's buff you. Just maybe on the off chance you can actually do something. I'm gonna move you over here as well. Now let's end our turn there. Let's let our dragon sneak around, crawl around like the dragon that it is. And uh, we'll see what happens, Captain. This monster teamer is certainly teaming me. The board is like so much more uh, devastating than like the actual cards that he's using and stuff. Uh, we got to burn some more stuff. Maybe we don't have another pumpkin in our deck. I thought we had three for some reason. But I guess not. Let's burn all these. Uh, if he can go on the wall, I guess he can actually get to my leader right now. So let's back this up. Like that to make sure that he can't. We've already moved you, so let's end our turn. Yeah, these later roses are gonna take a long time to get. These later roses, yeah. Especially if this guy has like a trap waiting there for me, uh, it's gonna actually be the worst. If like by the time my dragon zombie gets there, if it's just a trap, I'm gonna be super upset. Hmm. Let's just see what else you have for now. Okay, we dig in another pumpkin. So let's do this. Uh, we have max number of monsters on the board, I believe. One, two. Yeah, you're you're not you're you're donezo. Um, I right, so let's move you back. Let's eat you since he moves a space away anyway. Then let's go ahead and put this here. Let's go ahead and summon this pumpkin. Face up defense mode, boom. Dragon, did you move yet? You have moved, then we're done. Then we're done. All right, so he's he's getting feisty right here, which is a bad sign for me. Because I think that means he's gonna attack my new pumpkin. Next turn. I don't know if I can fight this labyrinth guy. I can try to. I can't. Okay, he's taking 20 some odd. This might be the end of the game right here. We don't even got to reach. Whoa. Because we're fighting on the labyrinth. That's awesome. Um, I don't even know if it's 2700. That might be enough. Yeah, we got it. Oh, baby. You win. You win. We win. That's it. You're done. You foolish, foolish wall shadow. All right, let's see if we can gather some loins here. Uh, what should we go for? I'm never gonna hit anyone. Let's just, let's just try to go for the ghoul. Okay. No! Darn it. I was hoping we could get ghoul, ghoul, ghoul. I can never match them up, man. I'm not smart enough for that. It's just too much, too much motion in the ocean for me. Too much motion in the ocean. Unbelievable. You've won yourself a light to guide you out of this labyrinth. Okay. That is our sixth rose card. Dude. Only two more to go. And I think I think Pegasus is our only option now. Yeah, I think Pegasus is our only option. Let's just see if we can, re re if we can reincarnate anything. Uh, doesn't look like it. Nope, we cannot reincarnate. All right, I'm gonna keep my deck the way it is. I don't really see a reason to, I mean, actually, you know what? Is Shadow Ghoul a zombie? I'm sorry, let's go back to that deck real quick. Is Shadow Ghoul a zombie? You are. Can I, can I check you out? Can I get some details? You are a zombie? 
can move into Labyrinth Terrain and transforms into Wall Shadow. Okay. I think you're definitely going to go in our deck. Uh, let's just take out... It's a five star. Do I have any five stars that I want to take out? For even trades? No. Okay, so let's just take out something useless. The Wretched Ghost in the Attic. Man-Eating Treasure Chest. Really, Man-Eating Treasure Chest is a four star and it's... It's kind... Wait, stop it! Why can't I change up my deck? What is going on with this... With this... Uh, these options? Unreal. Unreal. Okay. Here we go. To remove a card, click square. It's not that hard. I click circle because I'm so used to circle being like the thing you do. Uh, you're actually so weak and so useless. There goes Shadow Ghoul. Oh, we have another one as well. Yeah, I'll play two Shadow Ghoul. Uh, let's get rid of many treasure chest and add another Shadow Ghoul in. Spicy. We have three Shadow Ghouls? Dude. We're zombied out now. We're zombied out. Oh, I thought the game was going to freeze. I would have been so sad. Okay. Boom. Three Shadow Ghouls now in our deck. So we've done a little adjustment. This is a much shorter episode than normal, but it's not my fault. I beat that guy so quick. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to show some shady loads that thumbs down below. We'll be back again real soon with more Duels of the Roses where we're going to try to take on Pegasus with our current deck. I have no idea what to expect. Have yourselves a fantastic day, but above all else, keep it shady.